Hello and welcome. My name is Leo Alvarado and today I'll be talking about using events and notifications to monitor your Oracle Exadata database service. In the video, I will be covering and demonstrate how to receive notifications about your infrastructure maintenance updates, how to create a notifications topic and subscription, and how to configure and subscribe to Exadata database service events. Let's start by learning more about receiving notifications about your infrastructure maintenance updates. There are two ways to receive notifications. One is through email to the infrastructure maintenance contacts, and the other one is to subscribe to the maintenance events and get notified. Let's go check how you can add your infrastructure maintenance contacts. On your OCI console, open the navigation menu, click Oracle Database, then click Exadata on Oracle Public Cloud. Click Exadata Infrastructure to display the list of the infrastructures in your selected compartment. Find the infrastructure that you want to access and click its name to view its details page. In the Maintenance section, click Manage in the Customer Contacts field to display the Manage Contacts dialog. Click the Add Contacts button to display a field in which to enter a valid email address. You can have up to 10 maintenance contacts for each Exadata infrastructure. You can also edit and remove an email address in the Manage Contacts dialog by selecting the box preceding the email address. Oracle schedules maintenance run of your infrastructure based on your scheduling preferences and sends email notifications to all your infrastructure maintenance contacts. Now let's try to create a notification topic and subscription for your maintenance events. On your OCI console, click Developer Services. Under the Application Integration, click Notifications. Select your compartment and click Create Topic. We will be creating a topic for our EXA infrastructure maintenance events. Then click Create. Now let's create a subscription to our notifications topic. Click Create Subscription. Select a notification topic. Select the protocol for the kind of subscription that you want. Then click Create. Confirmation is required for some protocols such as email. In this case, the new subscription remains in pending status until confirmation is received. Notification sends a confirmation URL to the subscription endpoint such as an email address for an email subscription. After confirming a subscription, you'll see your subscription status is set to active. Now let's try to test publishing a message to a topic in notification. Provide your test message and click on Publish. Each message is broadcast to all subscriptions in the specified topic. Every message sent out as email contains a link to unsubscribe from the related topic. Let's create a rule for our Exadata infrastructure maintenance event types. On your OCI console, click Observability and Management. Under Event Service, click Rules. Click Create Rule. Provide a display name and description. In the Rule Conditions, select Event Type from Condition and select a Database for the service name. In the Event Type, select one or more event types for this service. You can select additional event types for your Exadata infrastructure maintenance for both Exadata database service on dedicated infrastructure and on clouded customer, such as Exadata infrastructure maintenance for IB switch, storage server, Exadata infrastructure virtual machines, and also to subscribe to critical events. Now that we have selected our event types, let's now select an action type trigger. Select the action type trigger for the specified event, choose notifications, select the compartment, and choose our created topic for the Exadata infrastructure maintenance events. Then click create rule. You can validate the event matching by viewing the event rule information page. Let's create another rule to subscribe to VM cluster event types. On your VM cluster details page, you can see the diagnostics collection option. By enabling this option, Oracle Cloud Operations in you will be able to identify, investigate, track, and resolve issues quickly and provide you info such as diagnostics event, health monitoring, incident logs, and trace collection. Then you can subscribe to events to get notified about health issues with your Oracle database and other components. 
Now let's create another notification for Exadata Cloud VM Cluster event types. Create the topic, add a subscription, select the subscription topic that we just created for VM Cluster event types, choose a subscription protocol, and then click Create. Same as what we did in the previous step, let's create a rule to subscribe to our VM Cluster event types. Click on Create Rule for VM Cluster events, in the rule conditions, under the condition, select event type. Under the service name, select database. Then select the event types for the cloud VM clusters such as critical events, create, delete, terminate, and update. Select the actions trigger, select notifications, select the compartment, then select the notifications topic we have created for VM cluster events. Then click on create rule. Let's see how easy it is for us to monitor a VM cluster update event type. We will be scaling from a total of 6 OCPUs to 8 OCPUs. And we will monitor the progress of our scale VM cluster operation using the notifications and events that we just configured. After starting the scale VM cluster operation, you will see that you will get notified through notifications on the email protocol that we configured on our subscription with the OCI event notification of update cloud VM cluster begin event type, providing you with a structured messages that our VM cluster emits, with the helpful information such as your VM cluster resource name, event type, event time, lifecycle state, and more. Once the scaled VM cluster operation has been successfully completed, you will get notified with the event type of update cloud VM cluster end providing you with the structure messages in JSON format telling you that the scale process has been completed with the information such as event type, resource name, lifecycle state of available, and showing the new CPU core count of 8 for the VM cluster. Now let's create a notifications topic to subscribe to database events. Create a topic, create a subscription, select the subscription topic that we have created for the database events, we will be using the same subscription email protocol for this subscription. Enter the email address, then click on create. Next is to go to observability and management to create a rule under the events service. Click on create rule, provide a display name and description. In the rules condition, select event type for condition and database for the service name. Select Database Critical Events and Database Information Events for the event types. Critical events are triggered due to several types of critical conditions and errors that cause disruption to the database and other critical components. While Database Information Events are triggered when the state of one of the database service components changed. For example, a clean shutdown of the CDB, client, or scan listener or a startup of these components will create an event with the severity of information. Then select Actions Trigger. Select Notifications, select the compartment, and then choose My Database Events for the topic. Now let's log in to one of the nodes in our VM cluster and simulate a PMON process crash. Oracle Database will automatically restart the PMON process simulating a startup for a database component that will generate an information event. Database events will kick in and get you notified with an event type of database information with an event name of availability db guest cdb instance down cleared and showing you the database status is online. Also, in your Exadata database service, databases are deployed as highly available databases using real application clusters feature which will improve the end user experience and avoid disruptions in your service. You can see the full range of event types that you can subscribe to by going to our product documentation and search for Oracle Exadata Database Service on Dedicated Infrastructure Events and Oracle Exadata Database Service on Cloud Customer Events.